بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على خاتم الأنبياء والمرسلين سيدنا وحبيبنا وشفيعنا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم رب شرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل الأقدة من لسان يفقو قول أما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته All praise be to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala The Lord of the Alameen And I bear witness that there is no deity worthy of worship Except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone no partners has he And I bear witness that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is his final messenger sent unto all mankind. O oh Allah, we ask thee to bestow thy choicest blessings upon Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, his family, his companions, and all those who follow his way until the day of judgment. Respected brothers and sisters in Islam, insha'Allah, in our last lesson, we done the moon letters on page 61. And this evening, insha'Allah ta'ala, we are going to do the sun letters. So there are 14 letters of the moon, and then there are 14 letters of the sun. The sun letters are shown above, as you can see in your books. Ta, Tha, Dal, Dhal, Ra, Zai, Sin, Sheen, Sod, Dod, Ta, Va, Noon, and Lam. Sun letters are written with a Shadda when they come immediately or straight after the Al. The Lam of the Al does not take a Sukun. Instead, it becomes a silent letter. So very, very importantly, in the moon letters, we pronounce the lamb. Al-Qamaru. We pronounced, it was articulated, the lamb had a sukoon on it. When we are dealing with the sun letters, we will find the alif with a fathan. The lamb does not have anything on, and the sun letter that follows this letter has a shadda on. So when we look in the first example below, we have the word. Jun. Right? That word there. Ta Jun. Right? Now, we are going to add on the alif and the la. There's your alif with the fatha, followed by your la. Then comes your Sun letter, the sun letter will have a tajdeed on. So there we have tajun, tajun, right? Now what is happening here is we take our alif straight into our ta. This letter must be double sounded because of the deed. So we say now, <coughs> at at You don't say al taju. There is nothing on this lam. This lam has nothing on, so it cannot be pronounced. Sometimes we find in the Quran. If the alif has something 
Write a small sum. What does that mean? That means we've got to join what is here to what is here. There. Without pronouncing this alif. So, let's look at our next word. We had the word Thalamun, which is a fox. Thalamun. Now we want to say the fox or the fox. Alif Fatha. Lam nothing on. Athalabu. Athalabu. Then we can see. Next word. Dubun. Now we want to make it and say the bear. Don't put a bear, we want to say the bear. We got to put an alif first, a, followed by the lam, then by the dal. Let's look at the next one. Rishatun. A feather. We want to say the feather or the feather. Arishatun. Arishatun. We go to the next word. Zarafatun. A giraffe. Zaraf. We want to say the giraf azarafatu. Azarafatu. Next, saatun. I watch. Asaatu. The watch. Next, sham. Sun. Shams is the sun. Right? We want to say the sun. Ashamsu. Allah says in the Quran, Ashamsu al qamaru bi husban. Asham. Saruhun. A rocket. We want to say the rocket or the rocket. Asar, asaruhu. Dir, sun, laula. Ad, dir, su. Now look at that example there. Right? Look at the word. Dir Sun. Right? Now I want to say A D 
Watch this year. Some of us will want to say Ad-Darsu. No, that is not the word. There is this. It is a Kasra on the dawn. When we find, say this is for example, your letter, and the Shadda is there, below, that would mean this letter has a Sakin. Not Sakin, a Kasra. If it was on top, then it would mean Fatha. So that is very, very important to know because you can sometimes be confused and you say I cast a Fatha instead of the Kasra. In the example there is Dir Sun Ad Dir Sun. Next, Tabletun. Tom Letun. It's a drum. Tabla is a tambourine. Tambourine. Next, to say the at Tom Letu. At Tom Letu. Maybe we can call it a tablet. Tabla tablet. Zif Run. Zif is your name. A nail, this. Azif Ru. The nail. Lisanun. A tongue. The tongue. Al Lisanun. See? Al Lisanun. Naj Matun. Najma is a star. An-Najma to the star. So the important thing, what we take out from these is that we have moon letters. In the moon letters, we know, or we, we've been taught, that the Lam is pronounced. When it comes to our sun letters, the lam is not pronounced and the sun letter, any of the 14 letters of the sun letter, that letter contains a shadda. So it is a mushadda letter, a letter carrying or bearing a Tashdeed. So there they have exercises for us to do. Copy out the following words on the lines provided. Adding out to each word. Remember to change the two dhammas at the end of each word into one dhamma. We said when we add on alif and lam, it now takes on the definite article in Arabic. So what happens if it does not possess the definite article, as for example, Tajun? No definite article here, so it has the Tanween. The moment we make it definite by adding the Alif and the La, the Tanween falls away and it is just followed by the Dhamma. So let's look at examples there. Tinun. Atinu. Sister, the next one in public. Below, below, after Tinu, below. No, sister, first pronounce as you see, then make the change. The Jajatu. The Jajatu. Now, yes, now you make the change. Yes, Ad-Dajajatu. Now, sister. Yes. Good. Sister. Sariru. Asariru. Naam. Allah. Shafatu. Shafatu. Naam. Tawla. Tawla. 
Tawilatun sesta. At-tawilatun. At-tawilatun sesta. Al-zahru. Naam. Next. Sesta. Lahmun. Yes. Al-lahmun. Al-lahmun. Sesta. Next one. Nahlatun. Al-lah. Again, sesta. Al-lah. Al-lah. An-Nahlatu Let's go to the next page Page 63 This is an exercise Sort out the words in the box below In two groups Those beginning with sun letters And those beginning with moon letters Write them in the columns Provided Adding Al To the beginning Of each words so this is a very very important exercise because you must know you must know your 14 moon letters and you must know the 14 sun letters for example when we do the first example we have the jazarun right jazarun so we have the word there Jazzaun Now we need to add on Alif and Lam Alif, yes, always Fatha Now We've got to look at our word If we've not memorized it Let's look at Jim is Jim a sun letter or a moon letter? Jim is a moon. So that means the slab must have a sukun on it. Al ja za al ja za ru. Right, so stop. So stop. Next, I give it a word. Lay mu nun. Again. Al lay mu nun. Brother, fadal. Brother, mad. Moon letter. All right. Yalla. Kalamun. 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 Al kalamu. Al kalamu. It is under which section? Moon. Moon, naam. Fadal ya khi. Sarirun. Sarirun. As-sarirun. 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 Good. Fadal. Khuffashun. Khuffashun. Al. Yes. Al-khuffashun. Al-khuffashun. Naam. Ismail. Fadal. Al-Sa'lab That's a sun letter word Good Naam Brother Faddal Al-Ij Al-Ij Al-Ijjasu Al-Ijjasu Haji Sa'ab Al-Ijjasu Okay Okay, thank you Show Kadu Al, okay? Everyone again, inshallah? Al, al. Al, ajalatun. Tu. Al, al, ajalatun. Naam. Allah. Ta'iratun, brother. Ta'iratun. Naam. At-ta'iratun. At-ta'iratun. Naam. Next. An-na'amatun. Na'amatun. Noon is a sun letter. An-na'amatun. Next. 
Then the page, page 64. Al Alif Al Maqsura. Right. First, we need to explain what is the Alif Al Maqsura. The Alif Al Maqsura is a type of Alif which appears at the end of some words it always it is always preceded or before it there comes a fatha let's look at the following examples for example in our first word the Ila, Ila. Don't say there's no shadda on our land to say Ila. No, Ila. So what they're talking about? We talk Alif Maksura. This is what they are talking about. Next word, Ala. So you don't say this is a ya, no. It's called alif al maqsura. So when I tell you, write this word and it contains an alif maqsura, your mind must be telling you this is what it is meaning. Hatta. Hatta. Listen, although it's written there with a fatha, you're not going to pronounce it as hatta. No. Just two harakats, the lengthening of two harakats, two alifs. Our first example, ila, ila, ala, hatta. بلا بلا رمى سعى يخشى أدى نعم استدعى نطفت فتى قراء نعم no, 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 sister, no, 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 no. After Qura, sister, Qura. Oh, Huda. Next. Salma. Next. Layla. Layla. Next. Musa. Musa. Next, sister. Isa. Mustafa. 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 Next. Murabba. Murabba. Naam. Al Mustashfa. Al Mustashfa. Al Mustadha. And the example they give us here is Surah Al-A'la. We read Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Sabbih ismi Rabbikal A'la. 
Hamza. Below are examples of Hamza in its various forms and positions, meaning in the beginning of a word, middle of a word, end of a word. So we're going to read them out, inshallah ta'ala, loudly. Brother, we are now page 65. 65. And now. Naam. Hadisa, the one below it. Okay, go below, below. Yes. 
Yes. Where are we now? Are we done, Jari Un Sasta? Yes. You said Jari Un? Yes. She said. Allah. Yudhiyu. Next. Wudu'un. Naam. Next. Batli'un. Batli'un. Yes. Yatasa'alu. Naam. Wud. Mudu'atun. Naam. Da'u'un. Sastat Prada. Daw. Daw'u'u. Daw'u'u. Ja'ah. Naam. Bada'ah. Bada'a Qur'a Naam Asya'un Asya'un Naam Sista Bada'an Bada'an Naam Udu'an Yes Hani'an Yes Naam Yes The last one Ibtada Ibtidaan Right Now I want to just do just Before we go on from there I want to show you something Matalan If you look in the last column Last column of that Of page 65 The last column on the top there, Dau'uhu. What I'm not interested in Dau'uhu, I'm going to take you to the word Ashya'un. Find the word down there, is there? Ashya'un. Right? Ashya'un. Right? Ashya'un. Right, we will pronounce this as Ashya'un. Right, now, say for example, this word came at the end, or it, we had to make a walk off on it. There was a ta on it, or there was a circle. Or perhaps it might have been a jim, or they might have been a meme. Jim, we have a, a choice, we can continue. But, ta, we have to stop. Mim, we have to stop. And then we have to stop. So what happens when we stop? Easy? We give the Hamza a temporary sukun. Ashya. Ashya. Whereas there, we continue Ashya un. But if we have to make a walk off on it, it gets a sukun. That's the first example. Next. As we read it there, but an. When we are going to make a stop, so there's a ta coming here, there's a mean coming here, there is a circle like that. I want you to take note what happens now. Many people make mistakes. We, we read it. As followed by a primary mud. So we are going to stop on there. <coughs> we don't say bada an, but we stop bada a. Bada a. It won't be written for you like this in the Quran. It will be written like this in the Quran, Mathalan. It won't be written. 
but in your mind you must know I am making a walk off. It's a mean or compulsory stop. I must know how to stop. I drop the one haraka and read it as followed by a primary month. Next example. We need that one. Hani an. We see it as Hani an. So, like that, I said, drop the haraka and read it as followed by a primary man. You've got to stop. Hani a. Brother. Ma. How will we stop on ma an? Ma a. Ittida an. If it was on if there, we say ittida a. Okay. Let's take note, inshallah. Turn the page. Reading practice. Read the following familiar Islamic phrases and learn their meanings. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. Allahu Akbar, we know that Allah is the greatest. Subhanallah, glory be to Allah. Masha Allah. What Allah wishes, if Allah wills, we use this, Insha'Allah, God willing, Allah willing, Alhamdulillah, praise be to Allah, thanks be to Allah, Astaghfirullah, I seek Allah's forgiveness. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah, I testify that there is no ilah, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala except Allah Ashhadu anna muhammadan rasulullah I testify that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam meaning may the blessings and peace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be on Muhammad أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم. I seek refuge in Allah سبحانه وتعالى from شيطان in the curse one. جزاك الله خيرا. This is to a boy or a man. May Allah reward you greatly. جزاك الله خيرا. This is for a female. جزاك الله. See the difference. جزاك الله. For a man or a boy, Jazakillah for a And Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. We know that. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. On the next page, we have the page 67 and page 68. We have there the Asma'u al-Husna. The 99 perfect names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And also, right at the end, we have the Surah Al-Fatiha and the Ayatul Kursi. I don't know if you have that, you have that as well? Yes. yes, we have that, inshallah ta'ala. A good way of the Asma'ul Husna, here you can really practice the sun and the moon letters. Because, yes. You look at it. هو الله الذي لا إله إلا هو الرحمن الرحيم الملك القدوس السلام المؤمن المهيمن العزيز. If you go through it, you'll see Al Aziz, Al Jabbar, Al Mutakabbir. All these are moon. Al Khaliq, Al Barik, Al Musawir, Al Ghafar, and so forth. There you can see clear distinction for sun and the moon letters. So it's just a practice basically.
We know the Fadail of the Asma'ul Husna. Whoever memorizes the 99 names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the fire of Jahannam will not be able to touch this person. So if you have the ability, memorize the 99 names. It is very, very easy. You don't have to memorize everything at once. If you memorize two per day, every day two, 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 two. Right? Within 45 days, inshallah, just a bit more than 45 days, you will memorize the 99 names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Inshallah ta'ala, when we meet next week, we are going to start, hopefully, on the... Because now, alhamdulillah, we've done the groundwork. The foundation has been laid now we need to build up on the foundation. And what we're going to do is, we're going to use a book, book one. It is the Medina Arabic series. It consists of eight books, but we will start off with book one. Some of this stuff I've already introduced as words. Now we're going to see it almost like in a, say, not like a story, but basically, for example, when we use how to ask, what is this? Or well, this is a door, this is the key, this is that, this is that, so forth. So slowly, we're going to go like that. The foundation is laid, all we need is to build up on this, inshallah ta'ala. But, as we say, each lesson, there's an outcome, there's an objective. So, what we want to do, inshallah, is we read the lesson, we understand the concept in terms of these new words, so I'll tell you the meanings of those words, and we will read through it, and then sometimes there might be exercises after the lesson. Very, very simple, we'll go slowly, so that everyone has a good understanding, but like I'm telling you now already, it is things which I slowly introduced already through the new words already. So it's not going to be new to you. You're not going to get a shock and say, what's happening now? No. It's going to be very, very simple. The book is going around. You can have a look at the book. Very, very, there's even pictures <coughs> to make it easy to understand. And everything is in Arabic. That's the important thing that we, that we read something, we will know. If you know the word, Alhamdulillah, as we go, we go with written one, two, three, four, and so forth. Remember, remember very, very importantly that it is important about knowing your words. Knowing the vocab. This in turn makes it much more easier to understand the lesson and understand what is being taught, inshallah ta'ala. So alhamdulillah, if there's any questions concerning the basis, the basics, alhamdulillah, has been covered. We should be able to read. And we're going to work on in the class is that we read the lesson. We read the lesson three, or maybe twice, or three times. Then we start explaining what the lesson is about. So once we can read the lesson, so now it's just understanding what is being said. And that's it. Once we get those two things, inshallah, and we are consistent, and we know our words, we will see by the end of the year, inshallah, we will have a good foundation of the Arabic language, inshallah ta'ala. So if there's any questions before we start on our dars for this evening, and you can ask the questions, inshallah.